This week we saw clashes between police and protesters in Bloomington. The scene is much quieter now, but students are still feeling angry at the force police used in the crackdown. IU police and state police arrested 33 people this week, saying they violated a new university policy. Our Emily Longnecker reports. In a statement sent to faculty last night, the university said it met this week and made a policy change, saying that you needed prior approval to set up tents here at Dunmeadow. The university said they made that change after learning that people plan to come here and camp out indefinitely. Some of those tents were back up Friday with no police response to them. Several hundred protesters were back too at Dunmeadow with the same set of demands they had the day before. Free Calling on IU to cut ties with any companies or lobbying groups that support the Israeli government, which these protesters believe have committed genocide against innocent Palestinian civilians since the Israel-Gaza war began. The most important thing is to stop that right now, uh, which a large part of that comes from stopping sending weapons and money to them. IU released a statement to faculty Thursday night saying the decision to change their policy on tents in Dunmeadow came as they watched similar events unfold across the country. The statement said safety was the foundation of their decision and that IU must create a space for meaningful dialogue, peaceful protest, and the free expression of ideas. These protesters say the arrest of 33 of them the day before flies in the face of that statement. The president should be out here celebrating free speech, not calling on military and state troopers who are armed to the gills with snipers on the roof. An Indiana State Police spokesperson said IU's police department asked them to be here, but would not confirm if they had snipers on rooftops, only that they had personnel observing from above, including a state police helicopter. It was um, a completely absurd reaction to a very peaceful protest, so very sobering. A university spokesperson put out a statement encouraging students who'd been arrested yesterday and banned from campus for a year to appeal that ban, which the statement said would be suspended in most cases during the appeals process. Emily Longnecker, 13 News. Protesters again camped in the Dun Meadow area last night. We're told things stayed peaceful overnight. The protests will continue throughout the weekend.